So you just signed Xavier McKinney in free agency. Do you go out and get a safety in day one, day two, or day three of the draft? You go out and get your guy in Cameron Kitchens. What's going on, guys? I am Hayden from Cheese Empire, also a host of East Coast Squared Iron. I am here to break down the why the Green Bay Packers should go out and draft Cam Kitchens at pick 41 if they do not go out and get a guy like Max Melton. So you guys probably saw the video from yesterday with Cam about Max Melton going at 41. If they do not go him at 41, I want them to go a guy like Cameron Kitchens. Now, I know you guys are going to be saying, Hayden, but you just signed Xavier McKinney for agency. You don't got to get him at 41. You can get a guy like Cole Bishop at 68. Can you? Yes. Would I be mad? No. <laughs> I want to get that clear. I like Cole Bishop as well. He's my second best safety in this class. But no, Cam Kitchens here is a is the dream fit for the Green Bay Packers here at safety to play the traditional box safety role next to Xavier McKinney. Now, the one, everything Xavier McKinney really doesn't have as good down, Cam Kitchen does. Now, Xavier McKinney is more your traditional free safety, your coverage safety back there that you needed that you did not have with Darnell Savage, who could not pan out, sadly, for the Green Bay Packers. But Xavier McKinney is going to bring a good coverage be able to cover tight ends and see, be able to make tackles when you need him to. So you got a great safety there. So, so you got to go in and get his Robin to his Batman. Now, here's the thing. You don't even have to go out in free agency. Get it. You can go out and get a draft guy like Cameron Kitchens. I wouldn't even be mad if they take him in the first round. I won't. And you reach. Because this is a big need for the Packers. This is probably their biggest need besides offensive line here. And the thing is, with a guy like Cameron Kitchens, you're getting the tackler you didn't have last year with Jonathan Owens, who struggled in tackles that time. And also Jonathan, I mean, Rudy Ford, who is a free agent and gone as well, I believe. So you really need a box safety. And the thing is... You got you can get that in this draft. Now, Cam Kitchens, the one issue that I have with him is inconsistency in coverages, but I'm not even worried about that because, he, like I said, you guys, David McKinney. But with Cam Kitchens, he is a very good type of box safety. He'll be able to go down, make tackles. He'll be able to hit people, force fumbles, get turnovers outside of interceptions that you need, strip sacks, sacks. He's able, they'll send him safety bliss. He's a perfect guy to do it over his name, Rudy McKinney, because he's able to hit. He's able to get off blocks as well. And Cam Kitchens is a guy. Now, is Kitchens going to be the coverage guy that you look for? No, but you already took care of that and took that in the free agency of the NFL with Xavier McKinney, and now you can go out and get your guy to lay down good hits, to go out and help. And here's the thing with Jeff Halfley, too. He wants his defense to be more physical. What's better than a physical safety than Cam Kitchens, who's able to be like a heat missile, seeking in on his target? Sometimes he takes iffy angles. Sometimes what worries me is when he will just jog to a play instead. But I'm not worried. That's something that Jeff Halfley can easily kink out and get out of his system and have him go full speed, have him be in the frame of each play, showing that he cares as well, which is huge as well. Now, Cam Kitchen's a very good player in my opinion. I like him. I, li I like him because of how I view his true strong safety. He is the he pops up in my mind as a strong safety a guy who can hit decent at cover can be decent at coverage but more importantly he's able to be the last line of defense there in the run game and able to bring down guys like Derrick Henry compared to a more traditional uh pass cover safety so i think Cam Kitchens is a guy at 41 i think he'll be a great move for um Jeff Halfley i think you just got to give him time as well you cannot rush him if you're a Packer fan you're going to have to have patience with Cam Kitchens, but the patience will be worth it because if Jeff Halfley takes time, perfectly molds um, Cam Kitchens into the safety that he needs, he will have a great one-two tandem at safety. You'll have the secondary hopefully locked down here, depending on what you do in the draft as well. So you don't got to worry about it. Cam Kitchens is the perfect guy to help fill in that box safety role you've been missing since Amos left. And Amos Bent was huge. He was the rock of that Packers defense. He was the last line of defense. Anytime a big run broke out and Amos was coming down, he always felt comfortable. I believe you can feel that comfortability with Cam Kitchens as well. But overall, one, the biggest thing I would say Kitchens has to work on here is A, upping that motor, A, being able to stay in the play, 
not take playoff because you never know when that run to, could bounce outside to you and see one last thing improves coverage, but that doesn't have to be done here for a team for, like the Green Bay Packers. But let me know down below, what do you think of a guy like Cam Kitchens, especially when he missed out on a generational talent like Brian Branch? You go to get a guy who's not generational, but still a good draft player as well in Cam Kitchens. Let me know down below. And if you guys haven't already, hit that like and sub button. And as always, stay cheesy. <laughs>